Hey guys, welcome back to another video. How's it going? Uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about running waste oil in your diesel. Uh, this is something that's uh, you know been around for a while. It's it's mostly done on mechanically injected diesel engines. So I wouldn't want to be doing this in my 6.0 or you know in your very 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 high pressure injection diesels of the modern day. But um, in the older in the older diesels with the, the more simple lower pressure injection systems uh, from what I've been reading waste oil runs uh, no problem in these things you might notice a little, little bit of hazing but uh, other than that you know it's all good so uh, yeah let's get into it so this has kind of been more of a uh, like a proof of concept for me I don't really have a steady supply of used motor oil to burn um, but you know if you did like if you worked at a an oil change shop and they just let you take the oil um, or if you worked at like a, a restaurant where they have waste vegetable oil just sitting there by the drum full that uh, they'd love for you to take um, you know this could be a pretty cool way of driving for pretty much free other than uh, you know maintenance items like filters and you know maybe injector here or there if it gives out uh, but if, if done properly it should run through your diesel just like normal diesel and uh, I think that's extremely cool. Um, but yeah, let, let me uh, show you a little bit of what I have here. It's very, very simple. Um, I got this cloth filter thing online. I think it fil filters down to like five microns, maybe, maybe 10 microns. Uh, fortunately, my used um, engine oil is pretty clean. Uh, I do my oil changes in, in the house and um, you know, the oil comes out of the engine pretty clean, goes into a fairly clean pan, and then I, I give it one last filter through this, and um, just collects right right there. So currently, the the right-hand drive diesel Surf has maybe about four gallons of used motor oil in the fuel tank, and there's maybe about five or six gallons of clean diesel uh, straight from the pump in the tank. And uh, so far, I have not noticed anything weird, um, other than a little bit more hazing. The exhaust smells a little bit different, but you know, it's on. It's got fairly regular power. It starts up in the morning like it used to. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, here's about another gallon of used oil going into the tank. So now it's almost a 50-50 blend of used engine oil and diesel. And a pretty normal startup. So like three quarter tank, about 50-50. Starts up no problem, no misfires. You know, run smooth. So just a little haze on free revving, but uh, going down the road when the turbo kicks in, pretty much no haze to speak of. So for now, it's just kind of a cool little project. Just the idea of driving around for free, uh, you know, kind of intriguing there. Um, you know, if I if I do find like a source of waste vegetable oil or a good source of waste engine oil, and then uh, upgrade my you know filtration system rather than just um, pouring it through a funnel with a little bit of a, a small filter in there, uh, you know, if if I get some sort of like pump filtration system, um, or you know even upgrade to like a centrifuge system, uh, that'd be the proper way to do it. Uh, I don't really have a means of filtering out the water that uh, sometimes gets into the you know the the drain sumps at a oil change place or into the uh, you know the deep fryer at the the restaurants um, you know if, if I got a way to upgrade my filtration system and then I found a good source this could be a fairly legit way of driving around um, for a low cost but for now I'll just enjoy adding a bit of oil to every tank with um, you know the oil change um, oil that I have on hand. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but uh, it does seem like it runs a little bit smoother. The diesel nowadays is uh, ultra low sulfur for emissions purposes, I assume. 
but uh, the sulfur did help lubricate a lot of the components and uh, the older diesels do rely on that lubrication um, as well as keeping the the rubber seals nice and supple and uh, prevent them from drying out and getting uh, getting shrunk um, but yeah, I think adding the the used oil did help a little bit. The the engine doesn't sound as clattery from the injection pump. Um, I assume that's from the extra lubrication that the engine oil is providing. You know, engine oil is just straight up lubrication for the engine. So in the injection pump, I don't see why it wouldn't be helping in that department. Anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you have any uh, comments or suggestions on running waste engine oil or waste vegetable oil through a diesel. Uh, leave the comments down below. Um, I'll, I'll definitely read through them, look for some ideas, um, anything I can do to uh, you know upgrade my crude filtration system. Uh, any tips on that would be appreciated. Um, if you like the video, give it a like, share it to your friends, sub to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.